Hi guys, this is Doc D from Doc D Skateboard. Uh, I'm actually building uh, a 10S 8P. I've got I gotta make 10 of these. Uh, one of these is a P group. So 10S 8P means uh, 10 in serial and 8 in parallel. All right. Uh, that's that's something that I'm um, working on. And this is like finished P group, almost finished. I'm gonna actually put some, this is like, uh, but it, basically we're gonna just go ahead and um, spot weld all of these like that. And then we go ahead and grab this guy out so I can bend it here and I can access the positive and the negative. I'm using two millimeter nickel. And that should be plenty uh, for this 10S8P. Let me go ahead and um, walk you through my process. This isn't like, a professional way to do it but this is just the way I do it now um, so for the first one you're gonna have to make you're gonna, you're gonna have to make put four of these together now you can go ahead and use those uh, plastic things the reason why we don't use those plastic things spacers is because it wastes space we don't have as, as much space as something like an electric um, bike for example and you can use a space. Space is very limited, especially if you're gonna put a really large battery if you wanna make it thin. Um, so, I don't know, I think for right now, uh, I'm actually working on like a 3D design, like an enclosure that will do better. But for right now, since I'm still working on that, I'm just using a hot glue. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put these some of this together. So, I'm gonna basically use something, you know, you, you can actually just use your hand to do it, but something, use something flat. So you can hold it in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use the, the glue gun here. I'm gonna put two spots on top and bottom. I'm just gonna squeeze it, wait a few seconds. And that's real tight and that's even on top and bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit more there. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna squeeze in uh, hot glue. I like to leave a little bit of space so there's like somewhat like a little bit of uh, air circulation, which is, should be good. Um, so the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. All right, you get the idea, all right? I'm not gonna do all of it, and then I'll just go on to the next one. Uh, so once you have built four of these together, for 8P, you can connect it like this, or you can connect it like this. I'm using a custom battery box that's actually supposed to fit like this. So I'm gonna actually make it rectangular. I'm gonna put it on something uh, flat here. Make sure that's right. I'm gonna again go ahead and put like two spots on top and bottom. Sort of hold that down. All right, when that's sort of settled, I'm gonna go ahead and use the hot glue. I like the hot glue because it sets in real quick. You can of course use silicone. It just takes a lot longer. I don't think you need it. Of course with hot glue, the problem is if it does get hot, it can melt. Now if your battery pack does get hot enough to melt your glue gun, um, that's probably not, um, safe battery anyways. Now I like to get these corners here inside, so I'll squeeze one in there, and that will really hold it in place. Also on the other side, boom. I'll flip it, I'll do that. The other side, oops, there's a little bit of gap here. So just watch out, you want a sort of tight fit. Uh, also, don't run out of glue sticks. Uh, glue sticks there and we're almost done with this guy all right that looks good and i'm gonna go ahead and squeeze and get the other side in all right the, the glue gun should hold most of it in place all right but i do get sort of paranoid so i'm gonna go ahead and put some tape over it uh this is one of those filament tapes this is like you know really fiber tapes or whatever it's called it's it's really nice tape it's it's not heat resistant uh, you can use a capped on tape like I said if your if your battery pack gets that hot um, you know there's something wrong with your battery pack already your battery pack shouldn't get hot enough to melt hot glue I don't think so but I don't know I guess maybe if you live in super hot areas and we'll we'll go ahead and uh, put something over it later on. Um, to make it even, you know, more flush. The most important thing, it's got to stay together. All right, it comes off, and that's pretty solid job for DIY. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I forgot to tell you, make sure you put these 
uh, fish tape, the rings, O-rings, make sure you do that because this gives you extra protection. If you don't put that on, what happens is sometimes there's high voltage or high amps, high current, and it can actually short. That actually happened to one of my battery packs. So ever since then, I've been using that. So get some fish paper. Once you have your pea groups, you want to wrap it with fish paper because let's say you have two battery packs like this. If you don't have it, it might rub against each other. And if, if this uh, the wrapping, plastic wrapping comes off the battery, it can possibly short. Could it possibly short? Anyway, just for safe practice to put some fish tape. Um, so I like to leave a little gap so the tape will stick on there. Uh, because this is not self-adhesive. You can use a self-adhesive uh, fish tape also if you want to. I'm just going to cut this length. And I'm just going to hold it like this. And it's a little too long, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a Sharpie. And while holding it, I'm just going to make some marks. Right. Nope. Good enough. It, it doesn't have to be exact, exact. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out that little piece, the bottom bottom corner here. Um, it's it's kind of fun. I'm get some tape ready, so I can put it over. Uh, I'm always working on new ways of building my, my battery. So if you've been watching my older tutorials, I keep changing to make it better and better. All right, and that's good enough. I like to leave a little room so it can stick there. Like I said, it's not non-stick, and then just stick it on there. Just really tightly, tightly pull the tape a little bit. Oops, that's not a. That's a little too much tape. Boom! So we have a P pack. And next you need a spot welder. I'm using the Flipski spot welder, which actually you can use with a, like a lithium ion battery. Um, it works pretty good. I like it. You're gonna have to cut out uh, some nickel strips. Obviously that's gonna fit. Let's go ahead and start with the bottom. All right, see if it fits there. Now make sure it's flat. This is, after I cut it, it's not flat. So you can just go ahead and use something like a back of a scoop driver like that. And you can go ahead and spot weld it. And let's go ahead and spot weld this guy. So line it and spot weld. I like to start here and I'll, 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 I'll start on the right end of each battery end. Just like that. Just like that. Because if you do the ends first, it might sort of, uh, sometimes you, you can get a little curve out there. And then I'll also go ahead and do the ends. Okay. I feel like two, uh, four, four points is sufficient, or two, two times, two, two times. But go ahead and do the that, and also do for the top. Also, for the top, the way I do it is uh, have rounded corners. This is sort of important. If you have some sharp edges, that might actually bend through and also can short because the middle part of this battery, the middle part of the battery is positive. This is negative, so it's very important um, to design your battery pack, especially this part. I have it rounded. This way, no, no matter what force, like for example, there's an impact or whatever, it's not going to cut through and short the battery, which can cause fire or make your battery fail. All right, so once, once you have done the bottom, the top, uh, it's going to look like, it's going to look like this, All right? So once it looks like that, I actually uh, made my own. So I'll, I'll actually uh, spot weld this long piece to these four pieces. You have to align it. And then I'll spot weld it on there. Don't spot weld this, these four and then try to spot weld it. Then you might have to spot weld it onto there. All right. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use a, a heat shrink. All right, heat shrink wrap, like a battery wrap. Not, not this size, but something like this. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around. So the only thing that's left is going to be the positive and here and the negative. And by the way, this is a flexible battery. 
Uh, I'm, I'm going to make it a flexible battery. I'll show you the battery case. It's going to be a flexible battery case. This is actually one I designed right here. So what's going to happen is we're going to have one, two, like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it's actually a 12S AP I'm making. Yeah, so actually I designed for a 12S AP, I think. Oops. Anyway, that's kind of how it's fit, and then that's where it's going to go. And then I'm going to have uh, 12 gauge wires connecting all of the uh, P cells. Now, this is just a quick, this is not a how to video. I just wanted to show you some process, what I'm working on. Um, but this is basically the battery case I designed. Um, I was going to actually start making skateboards custom skateboards but um, it's a lot of work but i'll have this uh i might be able to open source this file so you guys can download it and 3d print it if you want or i might actually even sell these cases eventually if you guys are interested this is like a 12s 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 yeah you can do a 12s 8p uh which should be give you like almost like 70 miles of range 80 miles of range uh with eight inch pneumatic wheels uh, I'm gonna actually put six three eight let's see six three eight zeros two motors. It's gonna be a pretty powerful uh two wheel driven skateboard. Anyway, I'm just working on it. I just want to share that with you. Uh when I'm um done with the next sequence of process of stuff, uh I'll show you the next thing. And you can actually three print to print that also. This is actually a 3D printed version of it. Um, I'm also working on like a carbon fiber version. Maybe you can just use a carbon fiber to 3D print it. I'm not working on a lot of things, but I uh, just want to share that with you. Have a great day. That's part one of me building a 12. Is that a 10? I think it's a 12 SAP. Yeah, it's. Is it? No, no, it's. Yeah, 12 S8P uh, battery. Flexible battery. All right, see you guys later. Dr. E. Soiling out.